Hi guys, so this may look kind of similar to my last video. If you watched my setting up my Itzy 025 collection, I moved it into a new binder and I'm going to be doing the exact same today, but with my other collections. So basically I'm just going to be moving my other bits and bobs into a new binder and then also showing you what I bought this month for my other alt groups and biases. So if you do want to see that, just keep on watching. Similar to the last video, the first thing I need to do is just transfer all my pages in here, which isn't too many at the moment, into the new binder. This is really similar to my last video. I'm basically just taking the exact pages as they are and placing them into a new binder. So this is actually the last stuff from my old binder. If you did watch my latest video, I'm moving out of my Ultra Pro binder completely and into new white binders. So this is basically a binder for anything that isn't Leah or Itzy. We're now just going to be looking at what I got this month and adding onto this collection. So first we have Jenny, who I actually haven't added anything for recently. I feel kind of bad because I do still love her lots, but obviously Blackpink only have limited releases. So the only thing I'm actually going to be doing for Jenny is replacing her black sheet with a white sheet in the middle instead. Like I said in my last video, I just wanted to change up the colours. I just prefer how the white looks at the moment. And I was actually really happy with how it turned out in my last video and how the whole collection looked. So I'm going to be doing the same for this collection. There we go. Also ignore this random Rosé photo card just chilling. It was from my Blackpink DVD and I do love Rosé and hopefully one day we'll start collecting her. So it's just kind of chilling there for now. I do need to get Jenny's other version of this, which hopefully would go in this place, but at the moment it's not a priority. Then moving on to Lucas. Okay, so if you did watch my last month's haul, I said I was gonna be slow collecting him. That kind of went out the window. <laughs> Basically, I've kind of been going on a bit of a buying spree with Lucas. I'm kind of nearly done with his album cards. <laughs> That's kind of bad, I know. Basically, I need to add some new pages because my Lucas collection is bigger now. So we're just gonna be adding these two pages. I'm going to be firstly setting up his wavy cards. At the moment, I only have three of the album cards and one circle card, but I plan to do it with the album photo card and the circle card in a 222 layout. He does actually have two photo cards with the NCT 2018 release. I'm not sure what I plan to do exactly yet, but obviously there is also a new wavy album that's just been released. So I'm gonna have to resort this out anyway, but for now, this is just what I'm going to do. So like I said, there's going to be his photo card and then the circle card for that album together. The only circle card I have at the moment is this one, but but I have got Win Win's one for the Take Over the Moon sequel, which I hopefully will trade to Lucas. Obviously, Take Off is out of print, so it's kind of difficult to find those circle cards, but I'm going to be keeping an eye on Makari just in case. Honestly, I really did not plan to collect Lucas this quick, but he has become one of my kind of main biases and obviously inspires the username for this channel. And oh my God, can we just talk about Turn Back Time? Because it was a bop and a half. The whole album is so good and I'm so excited to receive my albums for that. I joined a Twitter group order and hopefully I get Lucas. There was a few people before me that did also put Lucas as their first choice, but there is a huge amount of people in the group order I think around 70 or 80 people and I was number 29 so hopefully we just pull a lot of Lucas in general and I get his cards but yes for now obviously I'm just missing the two circle cards and like I said I will maybe need to move this around just because I would probably will include his NCT photo cards with his wavy stuff we will see <laughs> then I don't know why I've added this page here it should actually be behind this so I guess I'll just move these two cards over so I only have two at the moment of his Super M album cards, but I do have the other two ordered on Makari. Whenever I decide to ship my Neokio package, they will be in it. But for now, I think I'm just going to do his two American photo cards here. And then when I do get them, his two Korean press photo cards here. Obviously there is only four, so it's kind of going to be a lot of white filler on this page, but for now, that's all we have. Hopefully Super M have a comeback soon as well. Although there is no rush because Lucas did only just come back with Wavy and I don't want to go broke. 
Also, I'm probably definitely going to run out of white fillers. I only bought a 50 pack and I seem to be using a lot up. But if I do run out, it's whatever. I will just buy some more. So yeah, for now, that's kind of his album cards. And then I've got a page ready for his tour cards. So I already had these two in my binder, obviously. I think I'm going to be doing a 2-3-2 two, two layout for this. Just because I actually picked up Lucas's, like, special photo card i think it's definitely rarer than all the others you only got one random member on the tour if i'm correct this is probably also my favorite lucas photo card ever period i only ever thought as well there were five of these photo cards but one of my mutuals on twitter who i bought some secret number photo cards from actually told me that lucas has two versions of this red one one slightly more zoomed out than the other but they are actually different cards he also had the two cards i'm missing so the zoomed out one because i believe i have the more zoomed in one and then also the one where lucas is wearing like a beanie so luckily my mutual ibby actually gifted me them so thank you so much ibby if you're watching because he didn't actually have to do that at all like I'm so grateful but yeah this page will basically be complete when those cards arrive honestly this page just looks so good like already like I just know this is gonna be a sleigh there we go that is his tour card page for now and then I also need to add a page just for his other album inclusions the only thing I actually have right now is this postcard from the sequel album my friend Catherine actually stored both the envelope and the postcard together and I thought it looked really nice so I'm going to be stealing that idea. I'm just going to be popping in a two pocket sleeve for now then I think it kind of just goes like this. I don't remember exactly how she had it laid out but I think it was kind of like this. I just like the idea of having the envelope too, I guess. I mean, you can't really see because he covers it, but it just fills the pocket up more, I guess. So that's basically it for Lucas. So I'm really happy with his collection and how that's building, and I can't wait to finish these off. Next, we're going to be moving on to Mia from Everglow, and oh my god, I have actually completed Mia's album photo card collection. Oh my god, I did a post on Instagram about it yesterday and everyone was just saying how pretty it looked and it honestly means a lot because this collection has just been the longest time coming and it wasn't too hard to find the cards but it was definitely like a really big goal for me and I never thought I'd actually do it. So I'm just going to be replacing this black sleeve with a white sleeve again and actually I'm in the process of something very exciting to get in the middle here. I'm not going to spoil it in case like I don't end up buying it but but if I do, then it will be obviously in a future haul. And then obviously, like I said, I have finished her collection. So we just need to put these cards in. This honestly makes me so happy because I never thought I'd complete her this quickly. So those were her two photo cards from Hush. Then I just have her other Reminiscence album photo card. And probably my favourite Mia photo card, her other My Music Taste photo card. So yes, guys, look at this page. It's an actual sleigh. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Oh my god, I love the backs of her cards. Like, Everglow have the prettiest backs, I swear. I still need to trade off my other inclusions to get her Arrival of Everglow postcard and the Reminiscence postcards, but I will do that eventually. We have nothing for Saybomb, unfortunately, although stream Girls by Nature because that comeback was a sleigh. For Nag Young, oh my god, finally, I have got two more of her cards. I'm so sorry to Nag Young because this collection it's so slow and I feel so bad but I only really get the cards if I see them or they're you know a really cheap price just because she isn't a main priority right now but these ones are from the today album is it Yes, the two-day album. Um, I got both versions. Someone on Instagram also is kindly gifting me one of the Love Bomb photo cards. So that means I only have two more cards to get for her. Honestly, I promise to make it a priority because I feel so bad. I miss Promise so much. I can't wait for them to have a comeback. I don't really know what me collecting them is helping, but I just feel like it is. Pray for a Promise comeback, please. I miss them so much. 
And obviously this is my random page. We're going to be taking Hitomi out of here and I will tell you guys why later. For now in this blank space, I actually have this Sana card I bought. For the longest time, I have been struggling to choose a twice bias, but I actually think it is Sana. I'm not gonna be collecting her fully, but whenever I see cards that I like or they're affordable, then I'm going to be picking some up. So eventually she will have her own page, but for now she can live on my bias page. So we're going to be adding a little section here for a new group called Secret Number. I did a group order for their album if you saw the video on my channel and I'm actually going to be collecting OT5 which might be silly because I'm already collecting It's the OT5 but honestly Secret Number don't have too many photo cards at the moment. They obviously just have the one release and it's two cards per member plus a postcard each which I think I can do, honestly. The cards are pretty hard to find just because they are a newer group and people are yet to buy the albums, I guess. Like I said, I did a group order and I actually was so, so, so lucky and pulled both cards of Leia, who is my bias and secret number. For now, I don't really know how I'm going to be laying it out. I guess 222, although there is five members. So I'm going to have like a blank row on the second page. But for now, I'm not going to be using fillers. I'm just going to put these cards in. She's the oldest member anyway. So these cards would be here no matter what. Honestly, she is so adorable and so are all of Secret Number. If you haven't checked who dis out by Secret Number, please do. I couldn't believe when I pulled these cards just because I love them so much. Like, she honestly slayed. And then, like I said, I'm also collecting the postcards for all members. At the moment, I only have the two I kept from my albums in the group order. I didn't pull Leia, but I did pull Denise and Ginny. For now, I'm obviously going to be doing this all together and in age order eventually, but I only have two for now, so I'm just going to be putting them in this page. These are so cute as well. I really like that they did these, especially because they're a new group. It's so clever because they actually did little profile cards on the back. I think that's such a cute concept. I also think the backs of the cards are so pretty and the whole who dis like typography. Also in the albums, you've got these slogans, which are so cute. They just look like this. They have the logo and then the name and the name of the members. We're just gonna ignore that I had this in the wrong way real quick. See, it never happened. Like I said, these are really cute and I really wanted to store them into my binder. So I just kept both from my albums and thought I could just keep both in an A4 sleeve like so. I don't know whether to do like that or just have both the right way. I think I prefer them the right way around. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'll keep them in forever, but for now, because I don't have that much secret number stuff, it's kind of cute and it was an album inclusion. I have got a few of their cards on the way. They are really hard to find, like I said, but I'm ready and I'm ready to commit. I love to this and I really appreciate secret number. So like I said, I took this Hitomi card out and that's actually because, shock, I'm going to be collecting her. Basically, if you wanna know the story, it's kind of silly, but also I just feel like I should tell it. I was on Instagram one day, I'd heard of Eyes One, but not really like paid attention to them. And basically someone was selling some of Hitomi's photo cards. Now I had no clue who this girl was. I just saw this photo card and I was like, oh my God, who? is that? Like, I thought she was so pretty and so cute. Turns out it is Hitomi. So I actually bought this card not having a clue who she was. This was a few months ago now. Ever since, I have been obsessed. Obviously, Eyes One recently came back with the whole Swan Song. Honestly, the album is so good. So I may have ordered last night three of Eyes One's albums. And after much encouragement from my friends and followers on Instagram, I am going to be collecting Hitomi album inclusions. Now obviously I will need to set up the pages properly for her eventually but because of Itzy and obviously the secret number situation I'm going to be collecting her very 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 slowly and hopefully that will actually happen this time not like what happened with Lucas. For now we're just going to be putting this card on this page on its own but hopefully soon I either pull Hitomi's cards or trade or 
buy some. But yes, I am collecting Heat Me. I have bought the albums, so there will be an unboxing soonish on my channel. And yeah, I think that's basically everything for now. I'm just so happy because now finally everything is also in this new binder, which is great, obviously. So sorry if this video wasn't the most exciting, but that was all the photo cards I'd bought recently. And obviously now they're all in this new binder together. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. I've got so much content coming, I can't even explain. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.